Um, it's my great pleasure to introduce the, uh, the uh, family behind the White Castle uh, restaurant brand. And uh, this is a, a really good opportunity for this group here because we have members of three different branches of the family and we have uh, uh, one of the panelists married into the family and they just have a rich, rich experience both uh, as members of the family and in dealing with that dynamic as well as leading innovation in the business environment. You know, I started, I came back to the business in 2000 and I had worked um, outside, worked in the computer industry and then I went and got my MBA and came back. And so when I came back, I actually had a position with the director of operations. So the regional directors did not report to me. And at the time, I, I was very frustrated with that position, but um, hindsight's always 2020, and that was probably the best place for me to start because I had to, um, you know, work with them, gain their respect, sell my ideas, and I didn't have the quote-unquote authority to tell them what to do. I had to convince them, um, and I had to listen to them, and I did a lot of listening. And through my tenure, um, I believe, you know, from the feedback that I've gotten from them, that I really earned their respect, which has been very, very beneficial to me, more so than me coming in and saying, you're going to do what I want just because you know, my last name is Ingram. Um, and so I think that that was a very good learning experience. Uh, earlier on, again, uh, as Lisa was talking about, there were times I've had to learn a lot on how I communicate as a person. Uh, there were some uh, regional directors and people that were uh, management in each of our cities that, that really, um, uh, I wouldn't say that I, I went out and tried to tell them this is the way it's going to be and look at your numbers and other things like that. I've never tried to do that uh, too much. But in order to get the buy-in, I've had to kind of pick and choose and say, okay, we're going to kind of work on these things and show the value. And, and the biggest piece from an HR standpoint is drawing those connections back to the restaurants that had better controllable profit and better sales and lower turnover and all those metrics that matter to them had higher engagement scores and things like that. So proving that it worked, uh, which was something that uh, uh, I had to learn in some cases the hard way. It is a lot of little things, but it, it, when you really get down to it, it, is, it mostly is communication uh, amongst each other, uh, I feel is the biggest, uh, the biggest factor in, in success in a family business is communicating, uh, communicating openly with each other and honestly. So when we think about you guys think about White Castle. How many people in here have a story about White Castle? Yeah. Usually when one of us, um, when somebody hears that we're from White Castle or they hear that we're uh, part of the family, they're like, oh my god, I gotta tell you about this time when I went to White Castle and yada yada yada. And it's wonderful. Um, there are many brands that would kill for that type of loyalty and we are very blessed to have that. And, you know, some people are like, well how did you create that? Well. I don't think we, we were real purposeful about how we created it. It kind of um, created itself because of the products that we served and the people that we had. And those are the kind of the two things that resonate with us across all of our 90 years and, and we believe will be our competitive advantage for the next 90 years. Um, I grew up um, about an eighth of a mile from a White Castle and for 20 years we lived in this home. And in fact, we could see the White Castle from my bedroom window, it was that close. So I could look out in the winter time through the trees and see this White Castle. Well, um, there's lots of great stories about that particular White Castle, but in 1994, um, there was a, an enormous snowstorm that hit the Louisville area and actually much of the region. And we, I think, got something like 22 to 25 inches of snow and ice. And it was shut down the whole city. I mean, UPS couldn't even get flights out of the city. And the thing was with White Castle, they were always open, always open, and we always knew that. We I always talked about that in my family. So this one day when we were all literally trapped at home and, and the city was shut down, we all got our boots on, my mom and my dad and my younger sister and myself, and we just trudged up to White Castle through the snow up to our knees and our thighs. We were much younger then and it was fun. And we went all the way up to White Castle and they were open. <laughs> so from there we kind of learned, you know, we need to focus on the things that make White Castle great. And when I ask, you know, does anybody have a story? Everybody has a story. And so why do you all have a story? Well, it's because, you know, you, when you eat a White Castle or when you want to have a White Castle, there's just something about the product that you really, really love. And that's really what we 
needed to focus on. And so we started to have this crave positioning where you know, it's just something you crave. Those were words that consumers actually used um, when we talked to them about why they wanted White Castles with you. Just say, it's just something you crave. So that's kind of where um, what you crave came up with. And um, you know, from there, you can kind of build on a whole bunch of different um, areas. And uh, one of the things that we're focusing on now is kind of this memorable moments and how can we use our product and our team members to create memorable moments for our customers so that those stories will continue through generations and not just be you know, the people that love us right now, but that they'll want to have other people experience. So they'll bring their children, they'll bring their grandchildren into a White Castle so that they can have these great memorable moments and um, have the brand of White Castle and iconic and iconicness of White Castle continue. For White Castle and our White Castle family, when it comes to problem solving and how we grow as a family, uh, we do that in a lot of different ways. One of the ways we do that is attending events like the event we were able to be part of today here at the University of Louisville Family Business Center. It was great to get to spend time with other family businesses, but also there's something about when you take the time to share your own story, it helps you really realize either how much you've grown or maybe even how far you still want to get going. Um, so uh, in that regard, I think it was really a worthwhile investment of time.